Alrighty then you guys welcome back for the eighth section of the red book of west march um this one is going to be another three-part section it's going to be uh hopefully quick and easy oh I, let me rephrase it is quick and easy as long as you're watching the video uh, we get two malorn leaves and we get a, a pretty good headpiece that's got six might and six focus because uh, some of the headpieces that are blue out there are kind of struggling and i think it's only might so that's going to be a good focus one if you do need it um first one is going to be 22,000 resources some of you guys were asking in the last video how do you skip dialogue and battle it's right there but unfortunately it's only available if you're going back to replay once again so if you already went through it if you haven't gone through it then you just have to listen to the dialogue so to save time again we're just gonna skip it all and uh, let's get those 22,000 resources for you real quick and in a hurry aragorn's gonna be the first person to come out swinging he's gonna go 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 hunt down some uh some of them orc bags and of course you know our main man gimli He's got to get in on some of his action too you know always a good time for him so uh we're gonna send him right in and and everyone's rocking a pretty solid army but legolas's armies definitely sets him apart he's got some tier four units of the marsh wardens which i personally cannot wait to unlock for myself uh next up gimli's gonna go third and uh yeah he's probably gonna die right here actually actually no it's on this one that he's gonna die um so we're going to send Gimli in to go and try to uh, finish off these guys. But unfortunately, he's going to, you know, he's going to, he's not going to make it. He's going to die. And then that's where we're going to pull out Legolas to come and uh, finish up right here on these guys. So we're going to send Legolas in right after him. While we're sending Legolas to go do that, we can send two armies at the same exact time to go complete something. So I'm going to move Aragorn to go take this extra slot. So that way, you know, we're, we're maximizing time here again. All about efficiency all about optimization you know sometimes you know with some of the battles you know i'm kind of like whatever with it but on others i definitely want to make sure it goes all the way through and through and then legolas is going to go through these next two armies he's going to die on this uh second guy after this one but um he's going to take out this first one with ease and then uh we're going to use him to eat himself into this first little army here and uh we'll be able to see how it goes because uh, if you're ever curious and you always want to see statistics on anything, you're always able to go back and view the, I don't want to say battle pass, but the battle log, if you will. And then a quick overview. Uh, these really help you try to understand better on the commander side of what they're doing, whether they're being successful or not. So for example, you know, we, we, we know that Legolas was at a huge disadvantage. He was going up against another full army that was full all the way through and through. So we knew he was gonna wasn't gonna make it, you know. The March Wardens, they 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 bad, but they ain't that bad, you know. Um, they are unaffected by sun. That's 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 pretty big, and it gives you plus twenty defense, which is pretty good considering it's got forty one. That puts it at sixty one defense. That's that's money, dope. All right, then we're gonna send uh, Legolas once he gets back to the keep in the beginning. We're gonna send him to go get replenished and recover units. Uh, anytime that there is a recover units there, nine times out of 10, you have to use it. So it's always a uh, nice, good, safe bet to, to, to do that. So we're going to send uh, Aragorn to go off and finish this army right over here as Legolas is going to pick up the replenish. Um, Aragorn shouldn't lose here, but I recommend just letting Legolas go pick it up just in case. You know, you don't want to, you don't ever want to risk anything of, you know, you're, you're pushing in with Aragorn while Legolas is still going back to the keep. And then if, if Aragorn loses that battle, which which he shouldn't, because he's got a, a ton of units left, as you can see right here. He's got, you know, 400 of the, the, the stalkers and then 900 infantry. So he definitely shouldn't be losing that fight. But, you know, you, just let Legolas do his thing. Uh, we're going to send Legolas right in, and he's going to win that fight. And uh, that's it. Stage cleared. Boom. On to the next stage. Stage two. 24,000 resources. We're looking at, what, almost 50,000 right there? I'm with it all a long. So here we have two different armies. We've got Ugluck and Lurts. We're going to send Ugluck in first, going to the right. Taking on these little uh, wargs. Just because, you know, I, I love going against wargs because sometimes they, they attack their own allies. You know what? Whatever. I mean, you know. Then we're going to swap over to Lurts. This one's is just going to be alternating almost all the way through. And then uh, we're going to send Lurts in right after him. Go take on Merry and Pippin. And, you know, Mary and Pippin, they, they also ain't no joke. Um, This next one you do want to watch out for because uh, they do have these guards of the tower. And those... 
They're intimidating, okay? And then over here we got cataphracts. I, I was like, keep me away from that. But I'll, I'll go gladly take on these level two, even though there's more of them. That's that's no problem. We're going to switch back over to Ugluck, and Ugluck is going to take the far right route this time, and he's going to uh, take on that next engagement. So if it was first Ugluck, and then Lurts, and then Ugluck again, and then uh, now we should just need, honestly, Lurts all the way through. That'll be it. Because uh, like, who do we have here? Marion Pippin again. And then... Who else is going to defeat Boromir? We just have to iconically use old boy who's going to, you know, shoot shoot that bow at him, you know? It's it's, it's classic. You, you can't take it away. This is the moment that Boromir dies, you guys. By the way, in the books, phenomenal character. Loved him all the way through. In the movie, you're like, Boromir, really? Like, that guy's so lame. And um, honestly, he kind of is in the movies books are so much more depth and just love to him stage cleared boom Lurtz finishes the job just as he's supposed to too easy 26 000 resources this time that's that's close to a hundred thousand that's almost a full army right there you, know, you can get yourself a nice little something something for yourself uh so <laughs> we're gonna send in gimli first he's gonna go and uh take on this this first army and then we're gonna alternate over to legolas um you know this one has what one two three four five fights uh we're gonna switch over to legolas legolas is gonna go take on the next one send him in every single time send him in no point you know and as you know make sure you're skipping if you don't know how to skip when it pops up you're just gonna click in and then you're gonna go up to the top left hand corner and hit that little back button that back button is gonna bring you right back on out and then you're just gonna be able to get right back in there once again from there we're gonna go back to gimli and uh, Gimli's almost going to finish strong all the way through here. Because uh, Legolas, I think he took some hits on his numbers. Not much, but you know, it's something. And uh, we'll just use Gimli to ride it all the way out. Let's get all the way up in there. And uh, we're just going to claim these tiles. Go inside the forest. This is the moment where the three of them are hunting down Lurts. And swiggity swiggity, we're coming for that booty. Because uh, we can hear Boromir's... Horn just, just I, I wish they would have had that inside of this. Just, you know, the horn of Boromir just, I don't know the exact noise of it. Okay, bear with me. Ooh, he's gonna fail on that one. No biggie. Sometimes he wins, sometimes he fails. It is what it is. You're gonna send in a uh, legless to go finish off that one because, uh, did I mess that up? Eh, either way, you're gonna make it. It's gonna be fine. Legless is gonna go over there and finish him up. And uh, I actually want to have Legolas go to this next tile as well. By the way, Aragorn can just just straight dive into uh, Lurts. It's classic, like like the movie, right? Hello? Aragorn takes on Lurts, right? Doesn't he? And then Boromir lives, right? That's the way the story goes. We all know Boromir dies. Spoiler alert. If you didn't know, haven't seen the movies yet, I'm sorry. You're a few years behind, just like maybe two years behind. Boom, there it is, completed. You know, just right at eight minutes and, uh, and some change. Thank you so much, see you in the ninth one. Mm.